What's so important about lipoprotein little a? It's one of the strongest genetic factors in coronary disease. This has been shown in genome-wide studies. What is it? It's a lipoprotein made up of a small LDL particle bound to a large glycoprotein called apoprotein little a. This binds to the apoB protein in LDL. Apoprotein little a is structurally homologous with plasminogen, so it may provide the link between trapped lipoproteins and thrombosis. Perhaps thrombus persists if LPA interferes with the action of plasminogen. Tell me more. The apo little a protein is made up of repeating units. These are shaped like a Danish pastry known as Kringles. The gene for apo little a codes for the number of repeating Kringles. Some people have very large apo little a molecules. Does that mean they have a high level in blood? No, it's the reverse. Large proteins are often broken down before they leave the cell, while small molecules are secreted readily. Small apo little a fragments also accumulate in renal failure. This may be part of accelerated arterial disease in that setting. What's the protein for? No one really knows. Where is it broken down? No one knows that for sure either. Is it the level of the protein that matters? Probably, because the genotype and protein level go together and both are strongly associated with coronary risk. So how do you lower it? It's very difficult. Only about 20% of LDL particles are bound to apo little a. So unless you lower the number of apo b containing particles very low, the apo a protein simply associates with another LDL particle. That means statins don't really have any effect. What about niacin? In some patients the level falls, but you might have to induce mild hepatotoxicity to see this. Is that it? Well, the newer cholesterol ester transfer protein inhibitors may lower the level. The mechanism is still uncertain. Can you do anything to oppose its effect? The late Linus Pauling believed that very high doses of vitamin C would do this, somehow interfering with its engagement with the arterial wall. But this is also unproven. So what would you do if you had a high lipoprotein little a and coronary disease? I'd take a statin with niacin, also antiplatelet treatment with aspirin and fish oil. I'm not sure about vitamin C, so I take a supplemental dose around one gram daily. And for your patients? I'd say the same thing. What, even without proof? Sometimes that's what you've got to do.